Back now at 840 with today's good news and this morning, jobs for teens and the revival of an old industry. NBC's Craig Melvin is here with details on that. Craig, good morning. Good morning. 16.2% Savannah Guthrie. That's the unemployment rate for people under the age of 25. It's about double the national average, but there's a new program in Massachusetts that's helping young people find well-paying jobs. And the good news for many, you don't have to have a college degree to be hired. Warner Adams remembers what some of his buddies said when he decided not to go to a traditional high school. They thought it was kind of a super choice. People always make fun of vocational schools. But now they're like, oh man, I wish I went there. That's because when the 16-year-old graduates next year, he'll make around $45,000. Right now, in Massachusetts, that's the average starting salary in manufacturing. I can make as much money as a college, like someone going to college, coming straight out of high school. And I don't have to pay for college loans or anything like that. No woodworking or table saws here. That dusty shop class from a bygone era has turned into a high-tech training ground that's churning out well-paid workers. It's going to walk me through what we're doing here. What I'm doing right now is I'm fly cutting the part. It makes a nice clean finish on it. As part of Massachusetts' new Amp It Up program, students use state-of-the-art machines, computers, even robots to learn how to code, program, and design. It's better than sitting in the classroom to me, so... <laughs> Pathfinder Regional Vocational School has become wildly popular. There is a waiting list for the shop right now for kids that want to get into it. And Mary Jane Rickson says her students have little trouble once they're out. In 2011, every Pathfinder graduate landed a job in their field. The machine shops are clamoring for people right now. They can't expand because they don't have any highly skilled people. Demand is only going to increase over the next decade. Massachusetts expects 100,000 new advanced manufacturing jobs, the most growth of any sector. Many of the new jobs will be in biotechnology and involve creating medical components. The question is, how do we make sure that the opportunity is there to get the skills levels across the need in, uh, in our economy? Governor Deval Patrick's answer involves changing perceptions. College is right for many. Uh, but not for everybody. I can break down a machine and set up with a brand new job. Did you think about college? Uh, I did when I was younger. I knew from a very early age I didn't want to do it. It's not for me. But Michael Rhodes says he loves his job at Mirox Corporation not only because he's just 19 and can afford his new car and save for a house, there's something else. It is easily the hardest thing I've done in my life. On the floor and back in the 21st century classroom, Part of the draw for manufacturing's newest faces is that they won't be working in their grandfather's factory. I thought I was like working on the assembly line, assembling things, doing the same thing, repetitive motion, but it's not. So officials are now rolling this program out nationally because, again, it's become very popular. And manufacturing employers are so desperate to fill these open jobs, and they wanted me to give you something as well. When they're not making medical devices and things of that nature, they make uh, cool games. Wow! And yeah, they, so they made. They said, "Make sure Savannah and Matt get this this game that they designed." So this is for the show. You can play this at home. I will play this at home. Take it home. Oh, it's heavy too. It's very yes. It's amazing, and I love to see them. At that very skilled work. It's great to see the manufacturing sector doing so well. I don't know if I can hold this. It's a two-hander. I'll, I'll help you. Help me, I'll Craig help Melvin. I'll help Great story. Thank you so Thank much. You.